That was my butthole just now. Meow. How's it going, everyone? My name is Swingpoint, and welcome to a new game called The Park, a new psychological horror game, which is kind of the reason why I picked it up. I like these psychological horror games. They usually get really weird and kind of mess with your head a little bit, so I wanted to see what it was all about. Let's get straight into it here, and there's a very long and very interesting description that I can read to you guys as we get through this. The park is a narrative experience best played in a dark room, yes, with headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio, and control settings, and your sanity. Oh boy. This is perfectly normal and should not be a any cause for alarm. Okay, messing with my sanity, that's not a cause for alarm or anything. Anywho. First first experience, it focuses on storytelling rather than like combat and scares is what I'm reading. This is made by Funcom. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. I'll let this thing go and I'll talk to you guys in case we get a chance during the meantime. But it looks like it's gonna be pretty gosh darn good. I'm really excited for it. You play as a female protagonist, I think her name's Lorraine. And Where's Mr. Bear? I don't know where Mr. Bear I is. I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. <laughs> oh. Like I said, it focuses on exploration and just going through this creepy ass Stay in the park. Car. I'll go and ask information. And I'm really curious to see what that's all about. So I don't think like monsters are gonna chase us or anything. And you can already tell, but like we're walking. Like we're walking I'd say like at a normal walking speed. It's not like we're like being able to sprint around like you usually would in a horror game. And it's so you can go ahead and, and observe all the different things that might show up within the game. They said it's about the park is now closed. Park's closed, then what are we doing here? We're at the Atlantic Island Park. park the game's supposed to be maybe about an hour to two hours long, according to the description. I can press to interact with things in the world. What's this plaque Calum say, baby? Calum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. So he might come up again. May this be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all those who follow after. Cool. Well, that was that was cute. Well, why are we here if it's closed? Why do no? Why don't we just go home? Like you can already tell, this is bad news bears, Batman. The setting of this game, I believe. Can I go through? No. Okay, so we need to figure out how to open this or maybe go around somehow. The setting of this game is in this MMO called The Secret World, I believe is what they're saying. Oh, there's a person over here. Oh, good. I figured this place would be like deserted and haunted already. Maybe. Oh, cutscenes. Wow, there's cutscenes and voice acting. Oh my god, I have to do so much less work. <laughs> what are you, high? What's going on hey, here, bro? Lorraine. Lorraine. You know me? Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. What do you Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. Oh, poof. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for How? You. How did that kid not hit the bars and then fall on his freaking back like a little... You know what I mean? Like, I was just... Uh, poof. Oh my god. When you were younger, did you ever, like, have a patio door that you, like, ran into? Like, you were going full blast, running at the patio door to, like, you know, leave through the door, and then the screen was actually up? And then you run into the screen and just, like, fall flat on your back and start crying? When you're like seven, that might have happened to me. I don't know. Um, where are you going? You little Hello, shit. Mommy. Oh, so he did get in. Something special about the entrance to an amusement park. Why am I not walking up A this line thing? drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives, and on the other, anything we might dare to dream. Oh. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. But why aren't you like climbing? Have a safe journey home. There is way too much video game logic in here already, man. You stupid. Oh wait, is this blood? This is getting creepy. I think Lorraine's got problems, man. Oh yeah, she definitely got something wrong with her. Well, this is creepy. Where did the moon come from in all the darkness? Oh my god. <laughs> So I'm really excited to see what's going on with Lorraine here. There's one thing, this is why I really like these psychological horror games, because you get to try and figure out what's wrong with the character, and we'll run into things that like- Oh god. The park. I can run now. Oh, okay. What happened here? Pfft, I don't know, nightmares. We get to discover things about the characters and learn a little bit about why they tick the way they do. So I wonder if there's anything else here in this just- 
Yeah, I know, because you're a little Don't shithead. Stay where you are. Come on, kid. You know, I had my cats used to do that to me when I like we had outdoor cats when I was growing up. And the cat knew where the food was. There was no reason for him to run away, but she would like run away to play with me. Little shithead. Anywho, description here. There's some other What was that? Shut up, birds! I heard you, stupid animals. Do I have feet? No, oh, I do have feet. Go me. This is kind of creepy. Is this? Whoa, that's really creepy too. I don't like birds in video games, man. They almost always mean terrible, horrible things. Especially crows. Especially crows. And they always like gather up like that and go, bah, bah, bah. Anywho, for like the third time, description of the game. I really think we hit most of the main parts. It focuses mainly on storytelling. It's We're gonna really dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. Okay. It's, we're gonna, this is gonna be a psychological horror experience, and I'm guessing that Lorraine has got some sort of inner demons. I don't know what's going on with the kid quite yet. And really, we can just go ahead and explore here, go through the scenery. I, you, usually when I play these exploration type games, I feel like this is one of the areas for me as a let's player I need to get a lot better at. Because usually what I do is I'm so quick to like, what's the point, what's the, ay, shut the hell up! I'm like, what's the point, man? What's the point? And I just want to, like, rush to the ending. And I feel like a game like this isn't something I should do that with. They kind of pretty much set it straight out the gate. This is a game focused on exploration, looking at your surroundings, and looking at this kid's shoe. I think this belongs to Kelm. Cool. I'm just going to... Just going to take that? Take a look at this kid's uh, this plaque here? Chad the Chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. <laughs> I think Chad the Chipmunk's going to come and whoop your ass. Welcomes you to Atlantic Park. Chad can be seen daily in the ice sculpting shows. Okay. What does this say? Chad the Chipmunk, worst in class, can't even seem to pass. Gets angry, likes to fight, is beaten every night. We'll have a dead end job. We'll die a useless slob. Whoa. I hope just a drunk guy wrote that. That's creepy, man. What is this in here, huh? Restrooms? Probably nothing the girly one. Callum, are you taking a little pee pee? Standing up in the big boy urinal? Okay, have you guys ever seen like that little kid? Okay, maybe this is only for like the guys. But like, if you go into a guy's bathroom, it's like the funniest thing in the world. Cause like, if there's a kid who's like, just learning what a urinal is, you, what you'll see is this kid who like, takes his pants all the way down and lets his ass hang out. Like, he, his pants are all the way on the ground. He doesn't realize, he can just let his dick hang out of his pants. So like, every once in a while, you'll run into a bathroom, there's this kid in there, trying to pee. Shut up, voice, I'm telling a story. And, and you'll, you'll just see this kid with his bare naked ass peeing in a urinal. It's the funniest thing ever. Callum, stay where you are. <laughs> where the hell is he gonna stay? I don't know where the kid went. Hello, Swan. Do I get to ride on you? Come Please. on, mommy. I'm trying. Bird, God, bird, cooperate with me. I would like to hop on your bird. Wait, bird. Callum. Bird. Callum. Bird. Come on. Can I really not hop on this bird? Oh my God, that's such a waste. Oh, now I can ride this one. Good. I was gonna say that's a wasted opportunity if you can't ride that thing. Oh my god, dude, this is cool. Have you ever been on a swan ride before? Comment down below. I don't think I have. I think I used to make swan rides when I played Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. <laughs> was it 3? I don't know. It was the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. Maybe that wasn't 3. It was like Platinum something. I don't know. I used to play a long time ago. You'd like get all your handymen and your mechanics. And you would get, oh my god, like the entertainers. And you'd like clean up puke all the time. And you would never let you guys mow grass because it was a waste of time. It was cool. I liked Roller Coaster Tycoon. I actually thought about doing videos on it a long time ago. Because it was so fun. Near I a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. Okay. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Never heard of sup. Is that like drink? I'm guessing what that's what that is. What will become of us? The woodcutter uh. asked his wife once. <laughs> I tell you what, uh. husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow. Oh. And abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that. This guy has an axe dick. Uh. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking. This is and creepy. Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Okay. This is a great story so far. Kind of regretting this one, ride. 
I should have known he can never trust the a stupid next morning, bird. The woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Do they die? Don't they get, like chopped up or something? Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their oh, father leaves God. them, the children wait a while. Then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Chad. <laughs> oh God, not Chad. I just got, a, I just got an achievement After unlocked called Chad. <laughs> scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Okay. I got, well, your story's morning, great. I got distracted by Chad. Slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Oh, shut up. Who's doing the grumblies? Seriously, this bird's being a total dick. Why are you bringing me through this? Broke his bread into pieces and left a Can I get out of here? Crumbs to lead them safely home. Mm -hmm. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs of and course. the trail was destroyed. Of course the birds pulled that bullshit. See? You can't trust them. Abandoned by their parents, and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Oh, wow. It's a long time to be by yourself, dude. Okay. Is that Chad up there? Chad? Okay, seriously, no bullshit, Chad. I can hear somebody in the water. The stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel... Desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. And then he died. Maybe? What do you think, Chad? Nibble, no? nibble, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? This is so weird. An old woman emerged from the house, <laughs> sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. It's been so long since I heard the oh, Hansel and Gretel tale. Dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but hansel and gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother come children don't be afraid i have something for you the old woman offered them two enormous lollipops the children took them and began to eat. La, 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 you lick see, my lollipop. nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, <laughs> followed. When am I going to be off the stupid bird? Hey, I'm oh! Whoa, okay, fine. I'm looking at your story. Jesus. The old woman changed. Oh my God! I was just resting my head for a second. <laughs> Chad and put Gretel to work sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Oh, this is that story where they fatten up the kids, I remember now. I knew Angela Gretel was about Time kids passed. eating. And poor Hansel refused to eat. Oh my god, we're almost there. During the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. Oh, you're gonna cook her. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Good job, girl. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Whatever, kid. Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. <laughs> Seizing her courage, Brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Ooh. That's creepy. That was a little dark. Because even children can't survive on sweets, 
They divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Did that really happen in this story? I can't remember Hansel and Gretel, man. Did that, is that really what they did? Man. No wonder people are messed up. Getting stories like that told them when they're ki- Oh my god. Can never trust these stupid birds. Why are you crying blood tears? Or is that just sweet nectar? Are you a hummingbird? Okay, so Callum's probably like long gone now. I'm the worst mom in the world. I don't know why I went ahead and went on this freaking bird. That was a cool little story. Definitely set the tone of the game. Okay, just let me off the bird. Let me off the bird. Let me off the bird. I don't know what's wrong with Lorraine. Oh, she must not have taken her medicine today. Get off the bird! Good. Okay. Good. I'm okay. We're alive. We're in one piece. So I want to go over here and try to find that little Hansel shithead of a kid. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Oh, it's a great idea. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. So, what I like to do is try and guess what's going on with the character. No clue yet, but I would. One thing I'm wondering is if I, I guess what I'm wondering right now is what happened to daddy -o. Like why is there no daddy -o? Can I go over here? Ooh, I can. Is there anything to explore over here? No, just a very dark rock. I wonder where the dad is. I don't know why we haven't seen anything about the dad. Um That's creepy. Don't tap on me, please. Another accident. This place. I just open the door. Yeah. Whoa, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. No, okay, this, there's a teddy bear in there with the- Oh, I found the teddy. Why did my game pause? Okay, let's continue this and read our note. You creepy little bear. Oh, God, despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Park will be opening in time. The governor booked- Oh, good, shut up, thank God. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether or not we'll have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the band writings of the Archie Henderson. Of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that the resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Archie Henderson himself chose to use negative, and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. It's a little hard to read. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon, I will know if this has all been for nothing. Well, is this the bear you've been looking for? Stay where you are! With a frickin' knife in its eyeball? Maybe that's not the bear we're looking for, because you think she would have said something about it. Oh my god, there's blood in here. So what is it? Come out, sweetie. Why would I do that? That's just going to get me in trouble. Well, over here, what? Callum! Was that me saying that or her? <laughs> What's up, kid? You close? Hello? He's not behind us. So, I'm yeah, like I said, I was wondering what, where the dad is, and she keeps talking about being super hungry. I don't know if she's like a single mom who uh, is having trouble getting money at home. I don't know. Don't know yet. We'll figure it out. I'm sure more and more stuff will come up. Because, like, as you can already tell, this is an exploration-type game. It's definitely creepy so far, though. But I don't think there's going to be anything that straight-up chases us. Because I don't think that's what the developers were going for. But let's advance our little... Ooh, Ferris wheel, baby. Ooh, octopus. No. Squid. No. Lots of tentacles. That's all I see. Is that Chad's brother or something? What kind of monster... Oh, wait. That's not a gopher. That's not a squirrel. That's, uh... I don't know what the hell that is. It's a creepy ass bird or something. Definitely looks like some sort of squawker. Yep. Looks like it might eat me. And my and my cats. It kind of looks like a like a squirtle on a Charmander had a kid. Kinda? Think so? Okay, well I think we're okay here. I don't know what this is, but I'm just gonna keep walking forward. The water's kind of creeping me out. I feel like something's gonna jump out at, at me. Seriously, what the hell is that? And why would you put it at an amusement park? This it's creepy. Used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. What does the report say? The guy just. Oh snapped. God. Those poor kids. 
What the, the what what guy snapped? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read this whole thing and then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of paraphrase what it was about. That way you don't sit here and have me listen to me read this entire thing. Okay, so I'm gonna read the bottom half of this because it's pretty creepy. Basically what was going on is Chad the chipmunk, the dude in the suit, was like making an ice sculpture. And then some teenagers walked up, I'm gonna start reading from them like halfway through. Some teenagers walked up and then one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then while well, the guy went berserk. For a few moments it was chaos, everybody was running away from the guy. Who had one of the teenagers on the ground as he was stab, stab, stabbing him with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank. Frank and I had the kids and we were, we were dragging them away as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before dr Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of the poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making it this horrible creature seem more or less alive. Ew! That's creepy, man. That is straight up gross. So is Chad the ch <laughs> like? Is this really, is this really what the video game is gonna be? I gotta worry about like this chipmunk chasing me down and stabbing me with a nice pick. <laughs> Because we've seen Chad a couple of times. We saw him on a drawing, we saw an actual sculpture of him, and we saw him- Oh, there he is again, you stupid Treachery chipmunk! Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. Yeah? I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, Is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Oh boy. Well, that was pretty- Oh, there's something creepy in there. I turned around. Oh, God. Did you see that? I'm gonna look at it again. Oh, that just gives me straight up goosebumps. Oh, God. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and read this here. Oh, my God. A lot of stuff to read here. So, again, I'm gonna go ahead and just read it and then summarize it for you guys. Okay, so this is about a girl named Laura who wrote a letter to her boss. Her <laughs> oh, God! I knew it was gonna happen! Son of a bitch! God. Oh, I think I almost pooped my pants. Oh my god. I my, my butthole, I felt my butthole like do some intense, like really fast. Blah, 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 blah. That was my butthole just now. Woohoo! Okay, so that was a girl named Laura writing about her thoughts about Steve. Steve was the guy inside the Chad the Chipmunk suit who went berserk. He has lost it one day. He's like, I don't want to be a chipmunk anymore, and sort of stabbing everybody. And, I mean, that's that's really the main gist about that. I was just kind of talking about how Chad was like, or Steve, was slowly starting to lose his mind as he was Chad the Chipmunk. Like, he was wearing the Chipmunk costume outside of work, and he was carving really Constant weird things with ice sculptures. Music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Oh, yeah, great. Man, I still feel like I almost pooped. Okay. Oh, my butt. My butthole. Oh, my God. I need to, like, reclench my butt so it freaking feels- Ah, uh, shut up. So I feel like I'm in control again. Okay, examine device. What do I need to know about this stupid thing? It's a freaking battery. No, 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 no. Oh, you're gonna die. Oh, that's me. Yep, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Hey, the battery's gone. Shocking revelations. I love the freaking achievements they're giving me. You can't see them, but they're kind of funny. <laughs> so, do I really want to go in here? There's one of them that's lit up down there. I guess I can go check it out, see what's going on. Okay, well, I think we might try out bumper cars here. So, yeah, Chad the Chipmunk is definitely the antagonist here. He's the guy who's going to try to kill us, so we need to be very afraid of Chad the Chipmunk accident report. Ew. Okay, another long one. I'll go ahead, same thing, let me read it. Okay, so pretty much what this one was, is that... Ah! Oh! Okay, maybe I need to wait to freaking tell you guys what's going on. Okay. Woo boy, that one's crazy, Chad, is that you? Okay, no, there it goes. Can I move? I can move, great, I can move. Okay, okay, so the game just freezes a little bit, that's fine. 
That's fine, the game can't even handle the scares. That's okay. So that report was about a guy named Francis. Francis is dead. Francis was killed by a bumper car. The bumper car fell out of the back of a truck, a truck that a guy named Dexter was driving. Dexter claimed that somebody was undoing the straps on the back of the truck, and then Francis got killed when the bumper cars came flying out of the back of the truck. That the 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 truck that was transporting the bumper cars. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Ooh. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. Oh God, he probably could have died from when heat. I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. It could have died. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch, scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me. Our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. So that bumper car battery was... Help, because it was shocking you with a thousand volts through your veins. Okay, maybe. What does this say? Another page. Continue delayed by the incompetence of the builders. The problem is that they are locals, so they believe a lot of rumors about that old man Henderson. What old man Henderson used to do here? They grew up on those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, these fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that is why I cho- Oh god, so hard to read. I chose this site over all the potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies, and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here. It makes my skin crawl. I called in a few favors in Brooklyn, and I got someone at the local academy to see if there's any interesting books about the local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that the old man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I am missing. Okay, guess we gotta find ourselves some plans. Ain't no thing. Let's keep walking. This game's really cool so far. I'm really liking this. I'm glad I'm giving this type of game a shot. I usually don't give these types of games a shot. I usually just like, exploration, oh my god, I don't want to do that. It'll take so long. I get stuck on stuff. But I'm really enjoying this here. I just need to like, take it for what it is. And we're at the Ferris wheel right now. There's the Octatron, which is what we must have been by before. We're, we're by the bumper car. I feel like if I'm going to turn around, it's going to be something spooking me. I don't even want to turn around. Past the Octatron and the bumper cars, we need to go to the Roller Coaster House of Horrors. The entrance. Tunnel of Tales. So we've actually seen quite a bit of this stuff already, haven't we? Eh? Yeah. Okay, we're okay. The game's a little buggy. It kind of like locks up a little bit. I mean, it's just like, it is brand new. It was just released. Like, I even was able to pre purchase it. It was so brand new, brand new released. So let's see if we can go ahead and see. If we can break something here on this giant ass rusty Ferris wheel. Where'd my kid go, by the way? Hey! Mommy is coming, Calum. Yeah, I'll get there eventually. Okay, now let's see here. Increase speed, decrease. Is that a baby? I can hear a baby crying. Shut up, chipmunk! Can I hit this thing? I can't get on while it's moving. Okay, so I need to stop the Ferris wheel. Okay. You are a creepy little chipmunk, man. So yeah, apparently Steve is the chipmunk. And Steve goes and stabs teenagers with his little ice pick. How's it gonna start up? If it starts up, that's cre- Okay. Yep, that doesn't make any sense. That's a little weird. I don't know who that was. But I think he's gonna haunt my dreams. Is that a mountain? Ooh, I wonder where we are. Brooklyn something? I don't know. I don't know. I like mountains, though. I went to Denver, Colorado. And I got to see like mountains in the distance. It was like the coolest thing ever. It was such a beautiful scenery. Such beautiful scenery. Okay, something makes me feel like something scary is gonna happen come here. Into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before mom ran off. <laughs> After that, he mostly just drank. Okay. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. Okay. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed, and eventually 
kissed. Aww. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. What happened to Don? I can't tell you if Calm was made that night or one of them <laughs> followed. <laughs> I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. He died. <laughs> According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. And now we're on a Ferris wheel. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. Right. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Ooh. So maybe I wasn't that far off about the single mom thing. Well, I mean, she definitely was a single mom, but I, like in terms of the hunger and things like that, she just maybe doesn't have enough money to take care of Callum. Interesting. Wow, dude. Go me for guessing. <laughs> so it's good to know that Don wasn't like an abusive asshole, at least not yet. Can I get off, please? Thank you. Are you still gonna be in there, like, doing creepy stuff, Mr. Man? Nope, he's gone. Step off, chipmunk. Game is definitely a little laggy. I'm not even using up all my CPU power. Okay, game. Come on, work with me here. Well, let's see what else. I feel like we're doing a good job here. The developers have done a really good job making this, like, a very, you know, streamlined experience. I, like, you get to explore, but at the same time, you're not, like, Wondering where to go next. I feel like I played a game called, what, Gone Home? And there was so much crap all over the place. It was just so frustrating to play through because there was just too much. This has been really good, though. I'm really enjoying this. I'm still getting a good idea of what the story's all about. Can I not go through here because there's a big old log in the way? Come on, log! What's- Okay. Can I get rid of the kid first? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, oh God, shut up, shut up, shut up! Oh. Thank you. Did I get the ticket? Thanks, kid. You're the best. I'm gonna go over here now. Thanks, Mr. Spinny Wheel. You got rid of that log for me. It was a heavy son of a bitch. I appreciate it, buddy. What's this piece of paper say? Nothing? I'm gonna step on it then. Well, where, where are we going here? We gotta go to the roller coaster, right? Because we just got a ticket. And this is the thing that just made my day a little bit more scary, I think, is actually the most correct thing a to say. people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. Rain's kind of creeping My me out angel here. angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! Does Callum you suck? You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Whoa. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. I'd run away from you too, you crazy bitch! Oh my god! I'm hoping you just got some sort of thing we can go fix by going to the doctor? Oh my god, what is your problem, lady? Let's take a look at this real quick. We are now at the roller coaster. And we have visited pretty much all these other places. No, not the House of Horrors yet. We tried to go into the House of Horrors, and it didn't let us because we didn't have a flashlight. We'll get a flashlight eventually, I guess. Wow, the rain's a bitch. Never got around to do it before. Oh, well, how about we call your kid and pretend you care? Callum, where did you go? <laughs> you don't actually give a shit. Oh my god. Well, wow, man. So, I wonder what's wrong with her, or if she's just an ass. I'm not sure. I definitely think there's something wrong with her, just based on some of the other things that we've been experiencing with her visions and things like that. Wow, that was... That was savage. <laughs> of course... Oh, is there somebody in there? There might have been. Want? Oh. We need to talk about Caleb. Okay. What have you, what have you Ooh, done to him? Who is that? I... That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? 
poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Okay, so that's a Hansel and Gretel. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... Just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Burn! Okay, well, let's go down the roller coaster, guys. You've been on a roller coaster before? Let's do it. Whee! Oh, God. Okay. I'm at, why am I doing this? What happened to me? Oh, so creepy! We good? Why am I in the hospital? Oh, my God. What did that say? I can't read that. I can't, it's too fast. Somebody come down below what those actually say. Oh my god. So do you care? Oh my! The game freezes up. Oh no, see? What did that say? You taste your dreams? Ah, oh, god! Okay. Oh, you're gonna get wrecked, kid. Oh, he did get wrecked. Holy shit! The game keeps freezing. God damn it. Fix your video game, dudes. Okay. Well, that was creepy. Did I just kill Callum? Or is Callum dead? Kid got wrecked, but you didn't care about him anyway, did you, Lorraine? Man. I still can't believe she said all those things. I mean, I'm sure parents feel like that when they get angry, but they can't be like that all the time if they're good parents. Otherwise, they're just nasty people. I think my mom was like that. <laughs> Let's keep going down here. All the way down, see what we can figure out. Uh, oh, here's that flashlight I was the telling you about. Awaits. The witch awaits. Is that who we saw when we read S Steve's note? Or no. I can't remember the girl's note, but we read the note about Steve. Okay. Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. Ooh, you've been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. Doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. I can't go up this? Okay. Uh... Okay, guys, so what does that mean? Okay, so... I definitely think she's got some sort of mental disorder, or she's like an alcoholic. Okay, I'm just guessing. I'm just totally, totally guessing. I could be totally wrong, and I could just be way off. But I think she's got one of those two things wrong with her. And I think she abuses Callum. And that's why Callum doesn't like her. And that's why Callum has marks all over him, because she's hurting him. And that's... I almost wonder if the people, like, whispering things into her, into his ears, are like social workers and things like that. The whole that. town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Okay, well, let's read it then. Cotton candy corpse. Ew, leave sour taste in parkgoers' mouths. Ew! I don't even know if I want to read this. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. Oh, God, is that where I'm at right now? According to local authorities, the corpse has not yet been identified. However, they have confirmed they appear to be the remains of a child. Oh, no. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from the Innsmouth Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Oh, God. Nathaniel Winter, owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It's a true tragedy when something like this happens. Yeah. Especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences. Who done it? And they will cooperate with authorities to help bring the case to rest. Something about Solomon. I didn't miss that. I, I didn't catch that last part. Something about a Solomon something. But that's creepy. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, that was the wind, wasn't it? Okay, I'm going to go over here. 
see what the hell's going on in this area of the world. Wait, I can go back here maybe? No. Well, the kid was chopped up around here, wasn't he? Come on, we're gonna find... I can, like, hear everything. It's creeping me out, man. Chopped up kids? There's gotta be one around here somewhere, man. It's probably Callum. Well, here's some blood. And some creepy noises. Very good. Almost there. Is that a gnome? There's the kid! Perfect. That's not a kid. That's big for a kid, man. Examine corpse. Oh, that's a clown. I thought that was a gnome. Hi, corpse. Oh, bastard. I did this to him. He's gonna jump at us. I'm already ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. No? What the fuck? Okay, it's gonna do it. Stop. 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 <laughs> Chad! Uh, why do you always do when I'm not ready? I was kind of ready, but not all the way ready. I lost my ready. Okay, I'm fine. My ready went bye bye. Okay, just run away from this stupid ass chipmunk, man. Has Chad the chipmunk been hurting Callum? Am I Chad the chipmunk? No, Chad the chipmunk's Steven, right? Gotta stay away from Steve, because Steve's a crazy Chad chipmunk killer. Who? Stupid ass flower. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's pills here now. There were pills here before. Okay. The, these are mine. Yeah, there it is. Okay, now what are, what's this for? Take two tablets, 100 milligram tablet of what? Oh, I didn't see it. Okay, I figured she was on something. Or needed something, I should say. She probably hasn't taken her pills. All that you love will be carried away. 1980s. <sighs> I, I think I said this before, like, this is supposed to be based off of, like, Secret World, the MMO? A little bit, which is weird. I can taste your dreams. You're not safe. Can I move? Oh, I can. I can't read all of this. Fuck gravity. <laughs> well, let's try to find our way out of here. Fear the boogeyman. Don't believe anything they tell you. And leave. Whoa, I can leave. And you can float. Anything else in here? So, I feel like something happened in an operating room. I almost wonder if Callum's not real. I almost wonder if Callum died during birth. I'm really not sure. Is this going to touch me? Okay, turning around. I'll listen to you, bro. <laughs> That'd be a pretty Don't far stretch for Callum not to be real, Callum, though. I'm sorry. These are creepy. Can I read this? Future Times by Laurel and Howdy. Billy Button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every 17th child is a magnet for sinfulness, made omniscient by broken fires in coastal strain. In the coastal strain, we don't believe that the earth is out that says that the earth belongs to battered goats and shamrock afterbirth. Ew! Only the truly naked wrens of the righteous- the text is really hard to read. Indignation are severed by the war cross cleavages and the trust exercise arrhythmia. Beaumont will come to the island bearing the talisman and the- This sounds like some devil ass shit, man. And then he will shatter the seals that bind the orthodoxy of corruption. Only then will the priest shoot sluts- Oh god. Reveal housewives pontificate and delay messiahs. Make ales for the rescue tango and cash. What the fuck am I reading? Sweet the temptress who grips the shaft, twists the shaft, absconding with third age tits into fourth age darkness while gods lie, writhing on the shattered face of the earth. Gaia has sweetness and grace, but her days are numbered, and the heavy fisted hives break before the frozen wills, and the celegraphic actresses in pencil and the paper pornography. The all-seeing eye will provide a decade-long update on the story going forward. What the fuck is that? That's really, that's kind of hard to read because the text is like all smushed, like impact type font, but that was really weird, man. Oh, oh, I can throw boxes, screw boxes, man. I hate cardboard. What the hell is in here? Nothing? Just a fetus in a jar? Pickled punks. Oh my god. Sideshow oddities. Things that are a little weird. Okay. What is wrong with me right now? Oh my god. Hey, I'm cutting myself. Oh, no. Great. Can you not control it? There goes your face. Hope you don't need to look pretty tomorrow. You probably got gravel in your teeth. What a strange trip it's been. Ha! Ha ha! That's what the achievement unlock says. Ha! 
You done? Y'all better now? Good. Well, I'm gonna try doing that walking thing again. There we go. Good job. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. And now you're crazy again. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Hear the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. I don't think he's waiting for you. I think he's running from you. Not to play games, but because you're crazy and you hurt him. Not entirely sure if Callum's even real yet. But if he is real, I'm pretty sure he's abused. Oh my god. I'm sure that it probably stems not only physical abuse, but also mental abuse. Super hardcore mental abuse. Because mommy ain't got her head on straight right now. Mommy needs to take more of her medicine, or maybe get her medicine changed. Because oh my god, it ain't working. Okay, I thought that was an owl back there. Well, let's go inside of here now that we got our flashlight. This is like where we started, right? Because I just walked over there and that was where we walked up the escalator to get into the park. And now let's see what's going on in here. The park. Okay. Well, this is the first time we got a loading screen, so I'm guessing that this is actually going to be a pretty gosh darn huge part of the story. I believe this is the House of Horrors, if I remember correctly on the map. Because we saw, it, saw the roller coaster, the swan... The Ferris wheel. The, okay, here we go. This is gonna be creepy. This is gonna be all sorts of creepy. The whole thing's been creepy. But now it's gonna be like... Psycho Stabber Killer creepy, I'm guessing. Shut up, chipmunk. Shut your stupid little buck tooth face up. Okay, well, let's read this, huh? God, it's so hard to read, though. It's so tiny. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of townsfolk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gate. Small-minded fools. Okay, that's creepy. Don't make those noises at me right now. Scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected. Oh, this is gonna be like a Five Nights at Freddy's type bullshit where like creepy cute animals come and try to kill me. <laughs> but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston and have retreated here to the house of horrors. I must think. Oh, wait, this is the guy that's been following me, isn't it? Nath oh, so the dude that was with me on the roller coaster is Nathaniel Winter. Okay, well, Nate, you're creep. God damn it, kid. Damn it. Serious. Oh, I can see myself. Cool. Alone? That's a good thing to say to that thing, you stupid thing. Ooh, this is, is kind of cool. Wow. Kind of looks like a tank from Left 4 Dead or something, except he's got horns. You're going to kill it with your stupid harpoon guns? Oh, come on. What? Wait. Wasn't there just a thing here? There was totally just a thing here. And then the flashlight went blip, 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 and then the thing went away. Wasn't? I swear there was like a thing standing there. It's going to jump at me. It's going to jump at me. It's going to jump at me. They're going to jump at me. Okay. No, no, no. No following. What is this? Can I read this? I want to read this. No? Okay. Shut up. Stay away. It's going to keep going here. Everything's great so far. It's one jump scare I can deal with that. Ain't no thing. This one's going to pop up at me, right? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else back there? That chair? I could see him coming from a mile away, so he didn't creep me out. But I got a feeling he was just there to kind of make me feel like the jump scare timer was, you know, expired and that I'm going to be okay for a while and that something else is going to happen, like, right now. Anything else worthwhile in here? Books? <gasps> you know, it's not very often the game actually says boo. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> God, I even saw it there to make me jump a little bit, man. 
I'm trying to check all the different corners to see if anything is kind of hiding in terms of reading material because the story's been really good so far and I've really been enjoying it. And I don't want to. I don't think that one's actually a part of the attraction. I think that one's Mr. Nathaniel Winter, right? That creepy son of a bitch. Can I go back here at all? This doesn't look like it's worth anything. Okay, books. Books are cool. Can I go in here? Open the door. Okay, Mr. Winter. Let's see what you got hiding here for me, buddy. Oh, God. I can't handle this. I can't handle it. I can't deal with this. This just, just took it to a new level, man. Turn around. Okay. Oh, God. I just I feel like throwing up right now. I can't. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's just like all the creepy, you know, corridor wooden doors thing. I don't know, but it's really creeping me out. Nightmare Circus. Can I twist it around? Is there anything cool on here? Okay, circus burns to the ground, opening night, killing dozens. This puts the owner to the, the, the owner's put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk. Oh, so maybe he died. Interesting. Interesting. Well, let's continue on here. I wouldn't be surprised that, what, if that's what happened to Mr. Winter here. If he was killed After by the townsfolk. They, let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Oh. What's the shopping list all about? Drop off Callum. Electricity bill, fix faucet. Okay. This is a really great list you got here. I'm digging the fish sticks. I actually got fish sticks in my freezer. I might eat them after this. <laughs> Anything else worthwhile here? Can I turn off the sink? Examine the wrench. Okay, did we not actually fix anything? I don't really seem to do anything with it other than look at it. What a very nice wrench you have. I like its red knob. Okay, well, I'm gonna go over here. See if there's anything that I... Ah, doors creep me out, man. I hate doors in video games. You never know what they're gonna do or what's gonna be on the other side of them. Okay, let's keep going here. This seems like it's not just like the horror attraction. It's like this is our place and we're going through a nightmare. I'm sure you already caught that drift, though. Let's see what the letter says. Miss Mallard! She's a duck. <laughs> Lorraine, duck. Okay. As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. Okay. The letter is your official notification that you are considered sound of mind and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should discontinue at a meeting. Oh. Oh. So maybe she's still taking her pills instead of, instead of doing what she was told, instead of going back. Interesting, yeah, because we already took our pills, and we should, we weren't supposed to do that, apparently. Interesting. Got ourselves a rule breaker here. There's lots of drawings here, too. Of Callum and Lorraine and the park. I wonder if they're significant at all. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read this. Same thing, I'll sum it up for you guys. Okay, so there's a couple of details in here that are pretty interesting. Now, we finally figured out what was wrong with her. She was suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy, and they think it was because of the death of her husband or death of Don. I don't know if they were actually married. And one thing that's really interesting is when she had electro th electroshock therapy and she made a super quick recovery, but I'd say the biggest detail that's super interesting is the prescription of Zolift. It says a 50 milligram dose and then based on her doctor's advice, we may increase it. And I'm pretty sure when we saw that pill or that thing of pills, it was 100 milligrams. So like her dose got doubled which is interesting and that's assuming she was only taking one of those so things didn't improve with her miss mallard on the inquiry to this okay i'll read this for you okay so this one goes into how she is having financial trouble oh god we're so good at guessing things guys so yeah she was having financial trouble looks like some people died and she was supposed to get some money off of the will but part of the family didn't allow her to do that because there wasn't any sort of biological proof that she's callan's mom which is interesting i wonder if there's going to be something we find out about callan and like whether or not he was maybe he was adopted or something but no she was pregnant that's just weird that she wouldn't have biological proof like why do you need biological proof for that situation don't pull a pt on me you son of a bitch 
Excuse me? Okay, don't know what he was saying. Don't want to know what he was saying. So, yeah. We got a lot of this figured out. She had depression. She's having financial problems. Dad died. I don't know what's going on with the relationship with her and Callum. I'm pretty sure she was abusive to him. I'm almost guaranteeing she was abusive to him. We'll find that part out. Lorraine, things are right between us at the moment. I know I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I'm so far from home and I'm working so hard. Okay. Oh, it's from Donald. Okay. Every day, working at the park, it gets worse. Like a spring inside my mind, winding tighter, tighter, and tighter. Oh my god, maybe he killed himself. When we go for drinks after work, things get a little better. The guys relax and we laugh and we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when the job is done, we need to get out of this place and we need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore. P.S. I was thinking about names for the boys and girls. Callum for a boy, Emma if it's a girl. Okay. So I wonder if, like, the curse of this Atlantic City Park got into Don's brain. And then he eventually killed himself because what he said that the top of the when he was at the top of the ferris wheel something like broke and he fell i almost wonder if something didn't break and he just straight up like jumped that's possible that's possible let's keep looking here we pulled the straight up pt and completely looped through here's my pills again all right i want to see these pills zolift 100 milligram tablet see her dose was doubled and it says take two tablets in the morning Take one if you have an episode. So her dose got quadrupled. Holy shit. So yeah, things weren't going well at all. This Zolift is not working at all. Not at all. Kid, get over here. Hey. Never mind. Can I do anything? Shopping list. Is it the same thing? Yeah, it's probably. Oh, wait. No, it's not the same. Take the pills. Follow up with Dr. Spencer. Organize a babysitter for Callum. So it changed a little bit. And Zoloft. Zolift prescription. Interesting. Why is it changing? Can't go in there. Screw that kid. Whatever. Well, let's keep going here. See if anything changed. And man, what do you think of this so far? I'm really interested in this. I think this is... I don't want to say cool. Because it's very sad. But it's very... Very thought-provoking. Very interesting. Yep, I'm running far, far away. That's a great idea song. Piss off song. What is this? Notice. Okay, same thing. Wait, wait, what? 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 Is this not the same thing? No, this is the same thing. It says pretty much, don't ask me about the money. You're not getting any money from our family from the guy that died. That's that's what I was saying. So, okay. What was that noise? What was that noise? One of these doors is going to open one of these times. It's going to be creepy as I'll get out. Like, it kind of sounds like... Kind of sounds like the itsy bitsy spi- itsy bitsy spider, except he doesn't completely sing the song all the way. I'm gonna keep going in here though, see if there's anything changing in here. Why are so many games doing the PT thing lately, man? Like, I I can't help but think they're all inspired by PT. Like it was cool, but I've seen so many games. Oh, there's the alcohol. Called the alcohol. Called it. Called it. Called it, guys. Okay. Oh wait, actually, what's this? That's creepy. It was like a blood handprint and it died in a car crash? Well then. That was definitely a little weird. Let's advance onward here and hopefully we can get out of this loop. I mean, loops are cool and all that, but come on, man. We've seen it a couple of times already. Quit doing- Oh god, somebody splattered. Looks like somebody's head freaking exploded when they fell on the ground. That's creepy. Well, is there anything else in here that I may have missed? Just the paintings are getting more and more gruesome. Or drawings, whatever you want to call them. They're turning into, like, evil demons and blood-spattered monstrosities. And they're no longer... And this is changing, too, isn't it? Whoa, okay, that's weird. That's the dude that was with us on the roller coaster. Mr. Nate Winter, right? And there's his hook, and there's his hand, and there's his creepy little staff or shaft or whatever the hell he's poking me with. Okay. I feel like this is the last... I feel like this is the last one. Shut up. I don't think they're going to keep going it through after this one. Something makes me- Okay, dead babies. Oh, those are some very nice babies you have hanging up there. I like those. Can I bop them? No. What beautiful babies you have. Oh, well, what a nice lamp you have. Is this the teddy bear I've been looking for? Where is my boy? I ain't got a clue. Hey, more babies. Look at all the babies. 
creepy sons of bitches. So, oh, this one's drinking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this girl's got more than just depression going on here. Look at all these pills. I almost wonder if the pills are causing some more problems than they're, than what they're helping. You are alone. Nobody loves you. Callum is no longer who he once was. Yeah, this Zolift ain't working, man. Uh, maybe she's an a- oh. Well, before I turn around and get spooked, let me just take the baby out of the oven. Okay. I love you, probably. Oh, I think my baby's done. Okay, let's eat. Yep. Nope. Okay, let's go over here. Okay. Oh, I was like- I was gonna talk about all that trash bag freaks me out, but that kind of creeped me out more. I'm leaving. Nope, I'm staying. This place is cool. Now I'm leaving. Nope, still staying. Now I'm leaving. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for it to happen, I guess. None of these doors opened. The goosebumps just went down my back, man. We good? Are we good? We're good. Good, we're good. Okay. No, I didn't think so. Okay. Well, we're getting closer, guys, I think. Lots of dead babies or mannequin babies. Lots of babies taking pills. Lots of babies hanging around. Hey, what's up, dude? You guys hanging out? Ah! So, uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna go over here. Wait for this little nightmare to end, because that's pretty much all we can do is just wait for it to end. Hello? I'm not even gonna try that door. That door's a lie. Okay. What have you brought forward this time? The babies have left. They migrated for the winter. Probably went south. Hang out with all the geese. And, uh, bedroom is getting a little bit more messy. That's cool. Hey, the cap's all bloody. That's not cool. Hey, it's raining. Okay, I don't even- Oh my god, it's getting worse. Yep, I just gotta go. Whoa, dead people! Am I one of those? No, it doesn't look like it. I wonder if one of them's Don. Whoa, that was really creepy to look at. That was hard. That was hard. I just gotta keep going. Hey, the baby's cooking. No, we got a burnt baby in the oven. This is great. Oh my god, seriously. This is just so wrong, man. How do we get out of this? Like, it's gotta, it's gotta break eventually, right? Like, it is literally doing exactly what PT did. Where it just keeps getting a little bit more weird every time. Oh, come on. Come on, Batman. There's gotta be something that's gonna change. I mean, it's been changing, but there's gotta be a way we can get out of here. Finally, we're out of that hellhole. Well, that's good. That's lots of books. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch. But I am, aren't I? Man. What does it say? Kids broke in today. It's been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. Okay. I couldn't help myself. It was fast and the others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy is from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Okay, so... There's a couple of things going on here, right? There's this Chad the Chipmunk thing, which is we haven't talked about in a while. We're definitely learning a lot more about Lorraine and what's wrong with her. Eyes without sparkle. What the? That's creepy. Can you shut up? Nope, he's not gonna shut up. Okay. We're learning a lot more about Lorraine and how... I almost feel bad for her, like... I know I was like, you bitch, when she was like saying all those nasty things about Callum, but... We did kind of know, like, overall, there's something else much more wrong with her. Oh, Hansel and Gretel, we're almost there, right? And 
And I just kind of feel bad for her, man. Like, I don't think this is just depression. Like, this is way more than depression, man. She's way more than depressed. She got way... She got something else that's way wrong with her. Like, I don't know what... I think the Zolift is doing something with her. Cal. Cal. I love how she kind of looks like a Resident Evil character, though. <laughs> this is the 80s, right? Which is, explains her wardrobe. Well, this is the guy's slab, right? Ugh. Not Chad the Chipmunk! It was all a trap! <laughs> is he alive? He might be. But you're gonna die! Oh no! Come on, man! No! Come on, break out of it! Show that you can beat it! Come on! Don't tell me the kid's actually there. Oh, she's got the lumberjack necklace because of Don, right? Or no, is that from Hansel and Gretel? Either way, that's kind of cool. But did I literally just stab this kid? You're not going to show me what I did? I don't know if I'm imagining this or not. I don't know if I'm imagining the whole thing. I think I... We're, we're, who am I kidding? We're imagining the whole thing. This amusement park isn't like this, right? Is that it? No, huh? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Oh. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. Yeah. Okay, so this whole thing was a trip of some sorts. And... In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Yeah. Wow. God damn, man. That was the park! It's about an hour long-ish. I think it's probably one video. That was good. I feel kind of bad for Lorraine. I do, I do feel bad for her. That was a good, that was a good game, though. It's called The Park. It's on Steam right now. It was just released, like, just released. I'm playing it, like, immediately after it released. And I liked it. I mean, it was definitely sad. I don't know what exactly happened to Callum. If she just got taken, a if he got taken away, or if she legit killed him, or what happened. I, I don't really get it. I think that's kind of left open to interpretation. But there's definitely some things that were, like, very obvious, like... Lorraine has some sort of mental disorder. I think Don definitely died. She was definitely struggling to raise Callum. All those sorts of things. What's all going on at the end there? I'm not entirely sure. Like, I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if Callum's, like, in foster care now or if he's actually dead. Maybe Callum was the one that was killed in the cotton candy thing. I'm not sure. But wow, dude. Wow. Hmm. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's probably not like a very likable story in the fact that it was very sad, but it was, they did a good job telling it. So if you guys like this game, or you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like. I really appreciate it. This is the part. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more games like this. I don't imagine there's going to be anything, anything here at the end, so thank you guys very much for being here. I super appreciate it. You guys are the best. And this, again, was the park. So, mwah, 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 and me. Kittens are going to eradicate humans. <laughs> Kittens have destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans lie dying in holes with no chance of survival. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? My name is Swingpoint, and welcome to.